Hi again everyone, it's Frank here with OxygenGuy.com. I'm here today to talk to you about nasal cannula. Now, unless you have used oxygen before, you're probably not really familiar with nasal cannula. But it's basically the way in which we get oxygen into us, other than a mask. Now, uh, essentially what it is, it's tubing that will go into your nose and carries the oxygen through from different places. Say it's coming through a liquid oxygen of some type or coming in through tanks or through an oxygen concentrator. But essentially it all comes in through nasal cannula is what you call these. Or some will call it nasals or I've heard them called nose pieces, different names. But for the most part it's nasal cannula. Now, how to put this on? Essentially, there's a bunch of different types here, but uh, they come in one foot, four foot, and seven foot lengths. Basically, it's a matter of the purposes for them. Such as a one footer I've seen, and I've used them with different patients as far as uh, sometimes in bed si sittings, or uh, say uh, in a power chair, essentially with the bottles right behind them. A one foot actually is really close and really works. Now a one footer is probably, that's probably about all that you would use a one footer for, but like a four footer, essentially if you were carrying your oxygen in a bag, a four footer is kind of nice because a seven foot tubing is too long, which is usually what you use in a house, or if you're carrying with a cart and you had it further away from you. But a four footer is nice when it's a bag and it's a lot closer, but it's not right up against you. Now, essentially, it's all a matter of personal taste and style. Essentially, you, you develop a, um, a uh, repertoire, essentially, for how you want to use it. I always tell everybody, everybody's different. It, it takes time, but everybody gets it. Everybody's different. And it's just a matter of com being comfortable with how you use it. Now, this here, this is the Solder Lab 1600-7 which it's uh, the standard 1600 nasal size and dash 7 is actually 7 feet. This is the, uh, the regular nose profile which for someone like myself would be just fine. Usually with women or people with smaller noses, it's not necessarily just women because some women do like the 1600 size. They say it's just it holds better than their nose. But if you Usually if I run into someone that's having issues as far as it rubbing or causing a, a dryness or a burning, I usually go with a smaller size such as a 1616. It's a smaller size in the nose and it usually causes less problems for the person having those types of issues. Now how to put the actual cannula on? There's a bunch of different ones that go in a bunch of different ways, such as this 1056, which is actually has more of a, a rubbery, straightforward it's more of like I get from a lot of hospitals and such, but every once in a while I get people that ask for those. But for the most part, mostly what I use is like the 1600s and the 1616s. The, uh, the nose points are actually curved. So essentially I always tell people you want the prongs, the, the curved part, pointing up like this. You don't want it pointing out because it would be stabbing against your nose and it would be uncomfortable. So essentially what we would do I would tell people, first we have to get it untangled. <laughs> and then, the easiest way to do this is just to put it in your nose first and then roll it. I've seen it a bunch of different ways and you end up hanging yourself if you're not careful, truly. It's just make it easier on yourself the way I feel. Put them in your nose like this, roll one end up, and the other end up. And then this part here comes up like a necktie. But you don't want to do it too tight that you end up choking yourself or pinching yourself, but you want it to have a, a decent grip. That way you see I have a, a range of movement, but it's not choking me or it's not too tight. This end here will actually go into a regulator for a bottle or into a connector that goes into a portability base liquid base or an oxygen concentrator. 
This is something I recommend for people. It's usually 24 hour day patients that run into this, but they get a chafing behind the ears. And with that, this actually is uh, foam tubing that has a slit through the middle. And uh, basically what you do is you put this around the tubing here and they just slide right on. And basically you slide that up behind on your ear and what that will do is it'll cushion your ear and make it easier and prevent the rubbing. And you can put some of the medical tape around it that will keep it from moving and such. But I find a lot of people that use it 24 hours a day start to get a chafing. Love these. It definitely helps out. And every bit that keep it easy and simple is, is a good thing. Because if you have to be on oxygen, you want to make it as comfortable as possible and get the full benefits on the effects of it to help you out. So essentially, it's a matter of finding what works for you and uh, what you like. And ask your provider if it's tight, if it hurts, talk to them. Humidification isn't always the answer. Sometimes it's just going down a size and getting a smaller set. Sometimes the length is a problem. Sometimes instead of the seven foot, you can take it down to a four foot and it makes it a little bit more comfortable or even a one foot if it's a situation where you just don't need all that tubing. But with the, I've noticed well, one thing with the tubing is if you find situations where you need the longer and the shorter, what you can do is with the tank, essentially you can reel it in by winding it around the tank using the regulator to hold it like a fishing reel essentially. And what happens is you wind it up and then when you need it, you just unwind it, but makes it easy and good to go. All right, now that's basically it for today. I hope you've learned something. I feel like I've taught something, so if you like what you see, please like us and join us again, and we'll, we'll do this again. All right, I thank you very much. You have a good evening. Good night.